All right, guys, we are here with one of my good friends and in, I guess student, I, I don't even like that word, bro, but we'll just call it student for lack of better better vocabulary of Creators Corner. You've been a beast in this space for a while, done hundreds of millions of views at this point, but made over six figures for sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you're really cooking these days. You've had quite a transformation I've watched personally, uh, pushed through a lot of hard times and you know, just continue to up the ante when it comes to content and all that. So we'll chop it up more about your journey, what you're doing these days, what it's looked like with TikTok shop and stuff. You, you, you've you been a part of that, right? The whole TikTok shop wave? Yeah, I haven't really like done it, done it yet. Okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. Well, so dude, walk me back to, to how this started. Like I remember talking to you like way back in like 2021, maybe 2022. Um, what was like your first taste of like organic TikTok shit? Yeah, it goes pretty far back. You're actually like the first, your first Discord was the first time I ever hit like a million views. Okay. It was on one of like those spine board thingies. So uh -huh. I was, I was drop shipping for like a couple years before that in college. So I started kind of late technically compared to like all the dudes now. They're starting super young. Um, in age wise, I was already in college, like my first couple years in college. And then I started drop shipping and then I tried it all, you know, Facebook ads, Snapchat, everything, mentorships here and there, do a lot of money trying to learn everything. And then came across organic. It was in one of the, another discord I was in. And then when I came across your group, I saw it was all about organic. So I, I got like the perfect product and then I hit my first million views. And then I ended up making a decent amount of money there. First life-changing money there. Okay. Um, if you want to see more than 5k profit on that store, that'll um, do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Out of nowhere, too, like, like out of nowhere, I bet that was like crazy. Yeah. It's kind of like a one-off thing though. Like it just happened. And then for a while I was kind of dead. Um, but yeah, I got my first case of like actual, like I can do this. And it was through organic. And then from there, you know, the organic door started to open with uh -huh. clients and then word of mouth here and there. And then I've been doing it ever since, like 2022, beginning of then. Every so you, single went day. Straight, you went straight into clients right after that? Yeah, because I realized, like, you know, the dropshipping wasn't working at all. Like, I spent tens of thousands, like, learning this shit. It didn't work. And then I tried to force it to work. And I was like, why don't just stick to what's making me money? Like, easily. I didn't have to try. Uh-huh. So, that shit's tough, bro. Or, like, dropshipping, <clears throat> like all the different skills you got to know, keeping it alive. Like you had that little taste where it was like, boom, you know, like 5k, whatever it is, like probably like 10k in revenue, whatever. And you're like, boom. And then that video stops going viral. What happens? You know, like yeah. there go the sales, no more traffic, no more nothing, bro. Like, you know, product issues, people don't get their packages. They're hitting you up. You got to do customer service. That shit's traumatizing, bro. Customer yeah. service. Fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny though. Cause you caught on to that early. Cause, uh, you know, like that's definitely the route like I'm getting people on now, like where it's like, yo, become a creator, cash out the whole way through. And like, if you really want to start a brand later, you'll be a lot better off. But like, you know, if you want to make 10, 15, 20 K a month, like, bro, trying to do that off drop shipping every single month, take profits out is like really hard. Yeah. Plus, you're not just like, this is more fun. It's creating like just focusing on marketing. The mm -hmm. other stuff is like, it's a headache because I don't I don't like that stuff. So. Yeah. Walk me through like your process of that. So like, what was your first clients? I know like you went through a time because like for, for background to anyone who's watching it too, like uh, I remember like you were one of the first creators for like Luca's brand and like all this stuff, like you were popping shit off. Um, but you definitely had like a period where you were like a little lost. You told me, right. And like, yeah. right around then, it was like God's timing. I hit you up and I'm like, yo, like, how do I get you in creator's corner, bro? Like, you know, I want all the best talent. Like that's always been like a thesis of mine is like, if I have all the best people, you know, more of the best people will come and, you know, we'll create more of the best. So walk me through that time, that, that journey of like, all right, your first clients to, you know, was there a point where it was like amazing and then it got worse and then it got, you know, like, I, I want to hear it all. Yeah. So like after where we were at, like when I started first getting clients, I started going all in on the agency model. Uh, that was a difficult model. It's just like, there wasn't a lot of talent at all. This is 20, 2022 last none, year bro, there was none. none 
So it's basically just me trying to like teach a bunch of other people that, you know, got like 50K views here and there. <laughs> um, it, it, some were good, but it's just hard to find talent. There was none. Were um, you doing multiple accounts or just like one? Okay. Yeah. Like right away I started, I took on like five, then I, I shot up to 10 quick. But like the hardest part is like, like no, I I'm learned. saving your offer. Like if let's say you signed, you know, oh, Lucas brand, would you get multiple creators for that brand? No, no, no. Like that, uh, we didn't, I didn't do that kind of stuff. I just was me, you know, and then people under me. Um, but yeah, I just did that. And then I kind of messed up everything. Like I never knew what a service business was, like margins and like how to manage people properly, how to find talent. There's a bunch of shit like involved with having a team under you. And I kind of hated it, especially when they weren't that great in the beginning. Um, so I kind of screwed up margins there. So that's where things got tricky for me. Like I started screwing up finances, taxes, shit like that. Little things, but it 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 can get you in a big hole. So that's kind of where I went down like a big dark hole in terms of like finances, managing money properly. Money was coming in, but it just wasn't like staying in. You know, it would go out quick. Yeah. Um, so like I would do that. And then the agency route, uh, I kind of ditched that. And then a few months before you hit me up for like uh, Creator's Corner, I was doing it all by myself. So I had like two phones and I think I had a, like an iPad I would upload to. So I like I was maxing out everything, but it was just me running like a bunch of accounts. Multiple and you were accounts. underselling yourself too, bro. Like, like you were, you weren't charging enough and stuff. And like, I think it, I think I know like that feeling of like, I'm assuming it was like almost like a scarcity thing. Like, oh, I just need to get this deal. Like, you know, I don't want to fuck this up and have to get a whole new one and like, feel like, you know, like some of your deals were $500, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what? When I, I've done the agency model, I went straight up to like, I had like a couple like 4k because it was like, I needed the profit margins and they yeah. didn't have like prices. But once I got back into like, I'm managing it, I went down, you know, just, um, just to get it. Yeah. And it's like, that's like a, that's a scary feeling. You know, it's like when you, you want to have the leverage. Right. And like, the thing is that a lot of people don't understand this is like, there's not that much good talent out there, bro. Like you have the leverage. Like if you can actually, you know, just like, it's not even about <clears throat> driving. Dude, I have some shit in my throat. Um, shit is crazy. Pause. But uh, like, <laughs> if, if you can drive, like, it's not even about driving results though. It's like also just like, you know, your experience and being able to be on top of it, right? Like if you can actually show up, do the fucking post, like I know you can, um, like make quality content regardless of whether it gets views. Like, bro, you have the power. There's like, you know, only like 50 people out there who can do that. And all 50 are in creator's corner. You know, like there's just that you're, that pool is so small and people need it so badly. Like you have to charge accordingly. Yeah, you're right. And you have to work with the best clients too. And like major, bro, you got to work with the best products too, right? So like, what were your products before? They were like, you don't have to say if you like don't want to, but I remember they weren't that good either. Like there was a couple. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff like I knew wasn't, they would sell, but I would have to try a bit harder to make uh -huh. it work. And then that kind of stuff, like you don't make much money off commissions, you know, if you have to try that much harder. Yeah. So, so what's your current setup now? Like what's, like at that time, I remember you had five clients. You're maybe making like four or five K a month. Oh, that time I, I had like double the clients, but they're all like cut in half. So like less than a thousand. Yeah. You know, like I had like 12 clients, I think at one point before you hit me up. And then they were like less than a thousand, you know, five to 800 uh -huh. each. So like, that's what I was making, like maybe four or 5K a month. But it was like, I would work all day work all day bro like dude that's just like you don't want to try harder you want to like you want to you want to keep it like try harder for a smaller amount of people you don't want to like spread yourself thin you want to go harder on certain things right it's so, like now like how many clients do you have like i know we've we like we dumped everyone and like switched you around i remember yeah right now i think i'm at four four solid four clients bro and and okay i know you've got to be making like over seven thousand a month now yeah like oh, this yeah. past the month i hit you up like october is around 15 or no 10 but this month i think i just hit 20 i'll send you the hey! number i'm at 20 now we back we back bro Fuck. Back. oh that's so fucking awesome bro 
Oh yeah. fuck. So break down that 20k for me. Like I want to hear this shit. So the one like there's one brand that always just blows up because I might pay attention to it for that month more. Yeah. But they're pretty evenly based. Like the base retainers are all around 15. Uh-huh. Um, and then the 20%. Yeah, I know we pay you 1500 every fucking yeah. day with bonuses too. Like you, yeah. you kill it. Yeah. So the commissions is really where it's at, but the 15, like that security over my head is like, it's perfect. It's all yes, I need. Uh-huh. And then you're more level-headed. Like you go into it with confidence, bro. Like, so you got these four clients that are all paying you around 1500 and then yeah. one went stupid or something. You got like, would you cash out like a five, 10 K or something? Yeah. Like 15 K something around there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm going to cut this out. Who was it? You're going to cut this out? Yeah, I'm going to cut this out. Wait, you're going to cut this out. Okay, so I'm reposting too for, it's not even on the four though. So oh. I make like a couple each, a couple com thousand in commission each. I think for you, it's only like a thousand. Uh -huh. But a couple thousand each for like all the brands I work with. And then one bro. Ah, it. shit. Dude, okay. I'm not even getting paid from them. But like I've been, I just started reposting. So like, I'll tell you about like what I'm doing with reposting now. Like, I okay, I'm gonna, I like, I'm gonna, after you said the brand name, I'm gonna cut it back in. So it was like reposting. Um, yeah. So like okay. I take my accounts and now like I'm starting to learn distribution, like how powerful that is. I'm like, dude, yo, I yo, dude, I feel like this is God right now, Camu. Like I genuinely feel like this is fucking God right now because dude, I have a couple other kids in the program that are killing it with this. Like, do you know Marwan? Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah, like he's a fucking reposting demon, dude. And I want to like teach a whole thing about this, bro. Like, cause I swear, like you can change your life. Cause what are you, so what are you doing? You're taking this client and then you're going out with like, you you go on like Facebook reels, IG reels. Like, are you getting reposters under you? Or are you doing some manual? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, both. So I'm doing IG reels um, and then Facebook reels too. Just started myself. Like I had a couple pages for each brand and then like, I'm just, I'm getting more reposters cause I know how to make it work now. So yeah. And it's it like, it, it's like the key is that you're making all the best content too. So yeah. you, you have all of that done. Right. And I feel like this is really only good when you're a really good creator. Like I, I'd say it's someone who's like a beginner in creator's corner who doesn't really have it down yet. Probably should wait a little bit. That being said though, sometimes your content is, is really good and is doing everything right. It just needs more shots. Right. So I feel like that's probably someone you're seeing, right. Where it might only get a hundred thousand views on TikTok. You take it to reels and it does, you know, 5 million. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing. The po It's super powerful too. It's like just extra money. And sometimes they hit hard. Like what hard. I've seen. <laughs> hard. So wait, what yeah. was it for like our brand? Was it uh Facebook reels? Yeah, Facebook reels. And I was doing Instagram reels too. But like they're super sensitive. So like I get accounts just taken down. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Damn, bro. So you got, you got uh, like 10, 15K in commissions with that one? With that one, yeah. Damn, bro. That's so fucking awesome, bro. Dude, yeah. it's so true that, you know that quote I say where I was like, uh, re your retainer should pay your rent and your, your commission should buy the stakes? Yeah. You know, it's so true, right? It's like, if you can set it up to where, you know, you're making, and dude, you'll get to a point where you can make 10K off retainers, bro. Like, dude, give it, give it a couple more months. We'll put you on some management positions, like, Dude, like I just put one of our first students. Have you seen Xander? Oh yeah, I seen him. Xander and Santa Reese, this other one that just like just got into the graduate program, and it's like all they do is manage. On top of like, they they have these little management positions where they hire all from Creators Corner, go in with the brands. I do the layup. I close the whole deal for them. They just go, and then on the side they're creating their own content, doing exactly what you're doing. And it's like, dude, they, they make 10K, 12K off retainers. Santory's not quite there. Xander is like probably at 15, um, just off retainers, bro. And then the thing is, though, is you're not going to like, unless you're like really, really good. Like it took me like two years to get to this. Like it's really hard to get like, like, you know how like with Rob, I like, I manage all of his TikTok stuff, you yeah. know, and like, like I have pieces of all these brands. It's because like, I have like a lot of leverage, right? It's really yeah. hard to get to that point. Cause like, bro, like one of my retainers is 20 grand. Like, like, yeah. like, like that's not creator spend. That's like for me, you mm -hmm. know, like to get to that point, you have to have like a fuck ton of leverage, but dude, it can really offset your shit. Like I see it. Like, is that something you'd want to do? Um, managing part. I actually fell in love again with, um, 
just marketing. I mean, like uh-huh. just just running it up myself. Like I really like doing that over managing, to be honest. Dude, I just I don't know if you've ever had this level of talent under you though. Like you said, like Maybe, you yeah. the talent, you know. Like imagine yeah. if you had a team. Like for example, like some of the ones I'll hand off are already like programs that are doing well. They just need someone to get in there and like check on posts, do an account review call them a week. You know, and just like, it's like free money, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's free money. Cause like, dude, if you're at like six, seven K off retainers, like, dude, there's just, there's still that extra growth there. You know, like there's 10, 12, like how much better would your life get there? Like you're in that perfect position where it's like the money just started getting really good again. You know, like 10, 20 K bro. Like that was all I really needed. And then like, once I got to like, you know, 50, I was like, okay, you know, like it, it got marginally better. Like it doesn't really get much better after that. And you're so close to that level of like, you could be having 25, 30 racks. Like that's like serious money, bro. Like you could do that every month, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do now. Just set systems in place so I could just pump out content, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Bro, you got to do it, bro. I, you know what? Fuck the management, bro. You could do that off reposting. Honestly, I I think you honestly, like you're better off, especially with TikTok shop. Have you, you haven't tapped into this shit at all little bit like i've seen some i've made like a couple thousand off of it so like i can make it work yeah okay okay because dude like that's like you hear about z's month yeah i've seen that we're all trying to like do it now <laughs> dude, you want, i can give you that client too bro if you want it like that one that he did the 50 rocks for um i think we're good i'm gonna just okay. force is a lot for me <laughs> Yeah. and plus, so. you guys don't have tiktok shop too now so I'll uh-huh, run it we there. do and we do and you know we've been out of stock on that one um yeah it's, it's going back in today okay good yeah it's like up and down off and on right uh-huh. dude another thing is like dude when you crush it like you know how you sent me that thing for and dude like this is not even like honestly this isn't even like a youtube interview at this point like this is just us chopping business up um yeah. But like, dude, whenever you like go off like that, like you got to send over something and be like, yo, I like, I killed it, whatever. I got four or 5 million views, whatever. Like I had to ask you for that. And like, oh, shit, I, yeah. you know, like I would, have, I would have totally, you would have had a bonus earlier. Like if I didn't ask, like you might, I might've just been like, bam, pay the invoice. But like, you know, that got you another 500 easy. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're talking about like the views for your brand and stuff. Yes, bro. Like you got to tell people that like a lot of create, a lot of brands will give you bonuses and shit. Damn. I mean. Yeah, you're you're right. I just care about the money, you know, like what am I driving for the brand? Uh huh. Well, bro, why do you care about that, right? Well, you care about that because the easiest way to make more money is to make someone else a bunch of money, right? Like, yeah, you know. So it's like if you, and especially, bro, like if it's one that I put you on, like you should you should also lean into me as a mentor, bro. Like all my best students that like really get results fast, like lean into me. Or it's like, hey, yo, I just went stupid for you know Lucas brand, like is there anything like you can put in a good word for me? Like, of course I can, bro. You know, and like my word might go a little bit further because I have a better relationship and, you know, be like, Hey, I think he deserves an extra thousand, 2000. Like that shit adds up, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. I so more. <laughs> dude, Hey, doesn't this shit get you like hyped up though, bro? Like once you start realizing like, fuck, like there's so much money out there, like talking to the right people, like you're inspiring me right now, bro. Like I just, I love to see these, like my students get results and like people go crazy. Yeah. Like when I seen, uh, I think, yeah, Z's 40, when he shared the 40 K month, that was my goal for this month. But like, I, I admit, I got complacent, you know, I seen a decent number already. So I was uh-huh. like, it's cruising. I could have pushed harder, but now we know. Are we know you journaling and all that? Yeah. I journal and meditate. Typical okay. stuff. Yeah. What's your, what's your setup for that? Um, I have like this thing that I wrote down. It's kind of like the things that I want to achieve. It's just like a little document. Uh, Google Doc. I just read it every morning and then I meditate. Uh, I try to just do it, you know, when I get stressed out. Okay. So like when I need a break, I just hit the the back balcony and meditate. Uh huh. But yeah, what nothing you, crazy. What do you What do you meditate to? Do you like just silence? Do you do a guided? Um. Well, I just do silence. Like the we have a a road right here, so it's like it's pretty noisy anyways. So I okay. just listen to that noise. Sometimes uh-huh. I stay in this room, my office, listen to like. I don't know, focus music, it's called. And uh-huh. yeah, something like that. I just change it up all the time. Sometimes I don't even meditate. I just go to the gym and like right. walk or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. You feel like that's made a big difference for you? Yeah, because it's been a long journey. So it's like, 
same shit every day, you know, <laughs> same shit, like creating the videos every single day, nothing new. So I was like, I got to keep change it up. It's a mental battle, bro. Yeah. It's a mental I've battle. Been, been doing this for way too long. Uh -huh. Not too long. It's like compared to like everyone else I've been seeing. It's just like the same shit every day. Uh -huh. So it gets very boring, you know, super boring. What do you see yourself? What do you see yourself doing next year? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you feel like the vision for Camu is next year? Yeah. So right now, I, I think I told you my like financial stuff, wh whatever I'm in, where uh -huh. I'm at right now. So How's before, that looking? Is that getting cleared up and shit? Oh, we're good. I mean, we're getting good, you know, we're about to pop off. Uh -huh. Like I know how to systemize things and build like a thing where I could just keep, you know, my income the same or better every month or at least close. So yeah, we're going to get there. And then like the, the goal has always been a brand. So like okay. once I have, I'm above, you know, a good amount with cash in hand, then I know like it's time. But for now, next few months, we'll just keep ripping. Yeah. How do you feel like, you know, like, I'm curious too, like genuinely, like I want to hear your like genuine review on like creator's corner too. Um, Cause I'm like curious also like how that's setting you up for a brand. Like, how do you feel like everything's been for you so far on like all this? Cause like, that's like the exact journey I want all of you guys to be on. Yeah. Creator's corner. Um, like instantly, as soon as I got in it changed my life. Cause like I had a big workload. Uh, we just cut it off, got rid of all of it, you know, got better clients. Um, and then, you know, set my standard. You, you guys basically set a standard for me in, in terms of income or like, uh, work, the amount of work I'm supposed to do. Um, and then we, we stay there and just keep on getting better and focus on your clients. Like you don't ever have to lose a client in creator's corner. You shouldn't be, you know, yeah. you should just be like taking what you want and dropping the rest. That's yeah, how yeah, exactly. It's all like by choice. Yeah. By choice. So like, I like that where I have a choice. Um, and I could just take what I want here and there. You don't have that option when you're on your own. No, uh, it's like all your word and all your case studies. Um, and it's much more difficult. You know, I've done it on my own, done it here. I'd rather go this route, you know, stay loyal to creator's corner, uh -huh. and just keep putting out good work. Um, but yeah, the, the chats, I'm not really active as much. I read stuff here and there, but I'm not one to like just message yeah, all day yeah, long. Yeah. It's just a lot of stuff we got to get done, but yep. dude, they're, there's a lot of tips in there. Like even me, I feel like I've been in, in it for a while, but like things like little things here and there, like hacks to like create emails, you know, like the, the email trick. Mm. I've been like, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Putting my hair out, you know, trying to get different numbers and all this stuff to create new emails. So the little things like that, it's like, you can't find that anywhere else. They're not going to like, you just have to figure That's it out. Some high stuff. level shit. That's so true. Cause like a lot of people like, you know, are getting into this or newer to the space. Like, there's so many people who like would benefit being at that higher level and like coming in. Cause we have like, bro, like Sydney, like Max, mm -hmm. like all these people, like Corby, like there's so many, like just straight killers, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy what you got have done too, like with the training and stuff and they pick up quick. It's crazy. Like I didn't know people would learn so quick, you know, once they join, it's like, I see hey, them. Man, the next too, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you feel like, you feel like you also have like a support network and stuff like, like, do you feel like oh, yeah. you always have like us as you like have your back and everything? Oh yeah, definitely. That's why I don't, I don't really reach out too much because I don't really need that much help. Yeah. So, but if I ever did, I would message in the group once in a while and like instantly I'll get a response of some yeah. sort. That's like, so that's like the thing for me, bro. It's like, you know, like I've had so many friends that are like, you know, the typical, you know, online make money people who just like, you know, the, the, the course in the group is just for making money you know like to me it's bigger than that right obviously the money's great and all that but like it uh to me it's like if you sell a really good product it's my same theory with brands now like i've been through that drop shipping shit of selling shitty products like i don't like that feeling i like i like that feeling where you're like customers turn to your affiliates you know yeah and it's like when i like have everybody that comes in pretty much have an amazing experience like bro like we don't really do much marketing for creators corner like we don't really like you don't see us yapping everywhere, trying to like run in ads, like, no, but like we put up some sleepy numbers, bro. Like some, like, you know, I'm making serious fucking money these days. And it's at the same time, it's like everybody in my group's even making more money, you know? So I, I'm, I was curious to hear what you said. And like, that's, that's like, that shit makes me so happy, bro. Yeah. It's crazy just to see like the progression. I keep going back to like when I first 
remember you like when i first like got in contact with you uh-huh it's crazy i didn't think like someone would your first discord someone would actually message me back you know like owners never really message people back but yeah. you hit me up like, instantly i was like bro oh. and then the next day i did like my first million views and wow right there, you got like wow. a couple of years later like a whole program it's crazy yeah and dude it's you. <laughs> you know you know what i think it works so well too bro is like so like, I know, like, I know you've been a part of some other coaching programs, right? Like I know the agency one that you were a part of, um, but, and like, dude, those are good guys. I bet you'd say the same, right? Like those, you know who I'm talking about, um, yeah. guys, like the thing is though, is like, I think a lot of people don't think through their programs enough and think about like, like to me, like the only thing that matters the same way you say with clients is like results to me. It's like, I could have done a drop shipping thing, you know, and been like teach kids organic drop shipping and 10% of my students would get results. Right. Like you can do like, you know, I'm not going to say, but you know, that YouTuber that like, you know, does organic drop shipping, you know, that guy starts, yeah. starts the M yeah. um, like I could go do that and make, you know, 200,000 a month and sell this thing. And like, you know, eventually everyone would hate me. Like that dude has horrible reviews, you know? And if I just do results, like everything's going to be better. And I think that the main thing with the results is staying within TikTok, like, bro, there's no, like when you were in that agency course thing, like sure they could teach you agency tricks, but like, bro, like how are you going to learn that email trick? How are you going to learn AI content? How are you going to learn slideshows? How are you going to learn like all these new things that come into the TikTok space? How are you going to know when you want to go transition into a brand, which you will in 2024, you should start manifesting this shit, bro. Like, like, dude, I think you should run a supplement brand next year. Like, I think like, I, I see yeah. that vision for you. Like, if you don't have it so niche down to the perfect people who will like really do this in the space, it's like your, your, your coaching program is not going to get results like that. Mm -hmm. It's got a time limit, bro. Like it's, it's going to it get like, you got to keep putting effort in. Like that's, that's a, that's a problem. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's crazy. I With really thought through this shit, bro. I really thought through this shit, you know, like there was like, nights of just like because dude i went through that thing too that you know of like running a tiktok agency having people under me trying to take like a little margin bro you know and like i have like you know i have like a big twitter and shit so it's easy to close clients but like dude i'm like this i should not be making 10 15k a month when like i have all these resources all this results like you know my my talent pool is getting small too now with creator score it's like unlimited you mm -hmm. know we have 225 students like all over all these creators, all this talent. So kind of a tangent, kind of a tangent, but, uh, okay, wait, dude, we got, we got a little distracted too on the, I see your goals pretty much. We got all that. Um, so let's end on what you see, like a perfect 2024 as like, what, what do you see as your monthly income? What do you see? Like, what about yearly? Honestly, I'm not a fan of always looking monthly. What do you want to pull in next year? What do you want to just do? What kind of effort do you want to be working every single day? What kind of like, you know, things you want to do for your family? I know that's a big thing for you. Let's end yeah. there. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, but I'll like, I'll just summarize it to this. Like, I don't want to hit less than, you know, what I hit this month. So for the year, around 200, 250K profit, I think it's doable. You know, just keep on, you know, pushing it. Getting better with content too. I really want to get better because I know like for a while I didn't get better. I just kind of like stayed stagnant. And now that I see all this new stuff with like AI and, I've been trying it, but it's just, I don't think it's me, you know, as much. So mm -hmm. I just want to stick to what I think I could make work for me in terms of content styles and then be the best at that style. I, that yeah. hasn't always worked for me in the past. So 250K profit minimum. And then like, I want to start something already, like a brand. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to be immediately, but like towards the middle ending of the year. That's a good goal for me. I just want to be ahead of it, stack some cash. Mm -hmm. and then ready to launch something it's a long-term play bro the brand stuff like it's definitely not like so like something you should just rush into um mm -hmm. you know like it's not making making all your pro like you should probably be making clients on the having clients on the side of your brand too you know um yeah. and i want you to be like like low-key like one of the sole owners too you know or at least like the sole operator i think that's mm -hmm. something like you really should experience like that's like the best the best time to do it um or best way to do it in my opinion because you can take cash out whenever you want to but bro like why why wouldn't you though you can go in be your first creator for your own brand blow it up hire people under you you know for your own product you ain't got to worry about no one else and you can just go stupid on it like bro 
Like all the TikTok brands are going stupid right now. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> like the, the simplest content too. It's crazy. Yeah. So TikTok shop, baby, it's going to get big, bro. Um, that's another, that should be another one of your goals, bro. Like, I want to see you go stupid on TikTok shop for someone, bro. Like that's, that's where you need to be as a creator. I feel like these days. Um, yeah. but dude, I love that goal. 250. I think that's so doable for you, bro, which is also like, it's crazy. Cause I'm being so dead ass. Like you can, I think you can crush that, but like dude, 250, like imagine making that out of college, bro. Like what's the average income in Hawaii? Like fucking 50 K a year. Yeah. 50, you know? 60. Yeah. yeah, like 250 fucking K, bro. Like, and you're 25. Nah, I'm 24. But yeah, I'm basically yeah. old. <laughs> you know, and it's like working as your own boss. Like, I just, that's so sick to me, bro. So, like, make sure you're grateful through the whole thing, too. Like, you know, it's easy to get lost because you really work hard, bro. Like, you know, I'm someone I'm more like, I try to be a little more lazy, you know. Um, but like, you really grind out there. Don't forget, don't get lost in the journey, you know. Like, this shit is dope. Yeah, definitely. I um, thank you again. Dude, you guys, you specifically changed my life, but even Cal and uh, uh, Luca too, even Sydney, like your whole uh, program. It's crazy. Hey. I've never seen a program like that. And I've been in it a lot. Hey, love to hear it, bro. So we'll end on there. Thank you for coming on, bro. I'll post this. Um, you know, definitely.